Hello everyone, my name is Amol and I'm a geomatic specialist. Today I'm going to show you how to do the network adjustment for GNSS data. This GNSS data is captured using the GeoSensor 14 from Leica Geosystems with a field controller CS15. For the processing, I'm going to use like a GeoOffice version 8.4. To begin with, first we have to create a new project. So we'll go to File, New Project. And then you see this window. In the General tab, we have to mention the name of the project. So in this case, I will keep the name as Training and then you can select the location where you want this project to be stored. You can keep these default settings as it is and select the time zone in which the data is captured. The next thing to look out is the coordinates. So go to coordinates tab and select the coordinate system. If you don't see the coordinate system WS84 over here, then click on view. First, you have to create a projection. You can right click on projection and say new. And you can choose the UTM, give it a name. Select the zone number, automatically the central meridian will be populated and then the hemisphere. So mostly it is not the hemisphere. If you are in Australia or some part in Africa, then you can choose Southern hemisphere. So say, okay, you will see that you have created a new projection. Then you can go to the coordinate system and say new coordinate system. You can give it a name, say my WGS84. <clears throat> and here you can select the local ellipsoid. WGS84 and projection, the one which you have created recently. If you have a geoid model, you can import the geoid model here also. But uh, we are going to deal with ellipsoidal height. So we leave it as it is and say, okay. So now you see that a new coordinate system is created. So you can pick this coordinate system and say close. And you can choose it from here then. So this is your coordinate system. So I'll choose this one, it's the same one, okay. So let us select this, which we have created and then if you go to dictionary tab, you can write down the details such as manager, client, street, header, footer, all that. And all this will come in the report. So if I start with manager, say I write my own name, client is say X, Y, Z. And then just leave it as it is. And uh, I will not choose any background image or CAD file. I'll go to code template and just select advanced from here and say, okay, the moment you do that, the project will be created on the left side. This is the project which we have created. These are the other three projects which we have created. I have created before, but we are going to use this one. Now the next thing is to import the raw data. So what we are going to do is going to import tab and select raw data. So first we are going to select the base data, base station. So I have some data for my base station. So I'll, see, so I'll import all the base data and say import. And then you have to assign this import uh, raw data to the project which you have created. So in this case, we will select our project training and assign the base data. Here you will see that uh, some error related to the tripod on which the sensor was fixed or fitted is showing. So you can just go to say, okay, and you can fix this problem. If you go to the management and click on antenna, and go to the antenna, which uh, was giving that message, which was in our case, it was an SA tripod. And right click on this one and go to properties. Here, <clears throat> uh, 
uh, yes so all the all the sometimes it is showing none here so you can choose azimuth and elevation and say okay then back to our project so this is our big base data and uh, okay. uh, this is our data you can see that the the base uh, observation started at around eight o'clock in the morning up to 11 o'clock almost so we have two uh, signals received here so we don't want this one so we can right click and delete this one so this is our base data similarly we are going to import the raw data for rover so again go to import tab click on raw data then click on the data folder where you have stored it so this is my folder and i will select some raw data for my rover assign it to the folder sorry assign it to the project which you have created so this is my uh, uh, raw data for the rover i'm not going to use these two points so i'll delete these two again i'll go to import raw data and try to pick something from here Again, assign it to the same project. So this looks to be off because of the time setting in my receiver. So I'll remove this one. And I'm going to use these three. So I don't want this one. So remove this one. And uh, now you can see that these are the three things or three observations I'm going to use for my network adjustment. This is my base observation and these two are my rover. So first thing first is you can right click and say edit point. And you can make this as I will click just to have better understanding. I will make it as base. And because it is a known point, so I'm going to select a control point over here and I will give the actual values of the base. So the actual values of my base station is this one. And all this data, all these coordinates are in WGS84 coordinate system. And this is the ellipsoidal height which we have to give. Say apply OK. And these are my rovers, so I can say that this is edit point because these are navigated points. So I'm not going to do anything except changing the name as rover one. Rest of the settings will remain same. And this is my point rover two. So I'll just make it as rover two. Now I know that this is my base data and this is my rover one and rover two. Now we have to adjust the antenna height. So for this, for the base station, I will click on right and go to properties. And this is my uh, antenna type. Okay. So normally we measure it, measure the slope height. And it is taken from some horizontal offset. So if you want to enter the horizontal offset, you have to click on view. Go to this tripod and click on properties. And here you can put the horizontal offset. So for my observation, I had taken an horizontal offset of 0.15 meter. Rest of the real rate settings remain same. Here now in connections, you can choose elevation and azimuth. Say okay, say okay. So we have, we have done the, so the moment you give a horizontal offset and the slope height which you have measured, in my case, it is 1.43 meter. So automatically the vertical height, this height will be calculated. And this is the offset I was talking about, 15 centimeter. And this is the height, slope height, which we have measured. So say, okay. So we have done it for the control point. Similarly, we do it for the R1 and R2. So go to R1 properties. And in, in case of R1, again, my uh, offset was 0.15. 
So I'll just right click on this my tripod and say here 0.15 paste of the remain. And again here I will choose azimuth and elevation in azimuth. Say okay. And this for this uh, now you can see this is a sloping height. So my vertical height is this one. And say okay again. Go to right click. Properties. This is my for the my second rover, and the second rover was fitted on a pole. So if you don't have any offset here, it directly gives the height. So my measured height was 1.8 meter. So I'll keep this as it is and say okay. So now my data is ready for processing. So I can use this hammer tool and select this is my base station. So base will always be in right color, red color, and then you can use this hammer and say this is my rover one and this is my rover two. So once you do that, your data is ready for processing. So simply you have to do it is go right click here, choose the processing mode manual, processing parameters. In the processing parameter, this cutoff angle, you have to put the cutoff angle, which you had chosen during the planning time. So normally about 10 degree cutoff angle, we see <clears throat> around 10 to 10 satellites almost all the time. So I'll change this to 10. You can keep it 15 if you had do it done during planning. Uh, solution type, you can keep as uh, automatic and GNSS type. So because we are using GPS and GLONASS both, so I will select this one and say, okay. And then again, right click here and go to process. So this will process my data. And you can see that I have got the coordinates for R1 and R2. But these coordinates are in local grid, Cartesian coordinates, X, Y, Z. If you want to change this to geodetic coordinates, which are latitude and longitude, you can click on this button and it will convert it into geodetic coordinates. The next thing you have to do is right click this one and store. Similarly, on the results tab, you can just see here, keep. If you want to modify the name, you can just go to modify and say here, my report my network adjustment report. Now, if you come and view the data, you will see that this is my base station and this is my rover one and this is my rover two. The next thing we have to do is to do the adjustment. <clears throat> For that, we need to join R1 and R2, this line, this baseline is missing R1 and R2. So again, we will go to GPS processing this time we will remove this one, all of those. So we deselect all. And then we make, we choose only these two for processing. So I can, I can make this one as base and this one as rover. So same thing, go here, processing mode is done. Processing parameters are done. Again, process it. Just right click here, say store. And then you can keep this report. And now if you view the data, you will see the triangle is completed. That means all the loops are covered. So the next stop is adjustment. So you go to the adjustment tab and here right click. So first you do the pre-analysis. Then the next one is to do computation of network. So click on, it's very simple computation of network. The next step is compute loops. So all things is done, then you can go and check your results. So if you click on the network result, you will see that it has passed. First, you will get all the information about your project. Mm -hmm. What is the coordinate system? What is the projection use? And what is the application software you are using? And then you will see that the adjustment has done so many tests and all the tolerance and acceptance criteria is met. These are your adjustment results. So you can see that there was no adjustment made in the base station, whereas a very small correction is done into the rover and rover two. And these are the standard deviations and residuals. <clears throat> so if you want to see the final coordinates, you can close this report. Or if you want to save that report, uh, you can right click and save it as PDF or HTML. If you want to see the process coordinates, you can just go to the points and these are your process coordinates with ellipsoidal height. So you can go to export into ASCII data. Then you can store this file as ASCII file. So I will give this one as my values. 